Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. Juma Mubarak. In today's video, we'll be reacting to 21 cities with the worst uh, traffic. This video was suggested by Tito Rosso. Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion. For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel. I upload videos every day. So if you guys like the content and as well as the channel, then please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back. Welcome back guys, we're gonna uh, start with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're gonna get started with our second video of the day. What cities does it take the longest time for commute? Keep watching to find out. Better get those walking shoes ready because these stats are ridiculous. The Big Apple. One of the most popular cities you'll see show up in movies is New York City. People love making movies where it takes place in the Big Apple. And sure, a lot of that is due to its history and its tall buildings, but it's also all those lights and not just neon signs, but on the streets thanks to the amount of cars at any given time. New York City ranks not only as one of the most congested cities in the United States, but also in the world. That's why so many people opt to take the subway because to correct a wrong turn in New York might mean an extra 30 minutes. You would spend about 35% more time on the road here than on average. Where the money goes. One of the reasons Sao Paulo is so populous is that it does serve as the financial center for Brazil. And Brazil is a pretty big country. Sao Paulo has a population of 13.11 million people, making it one of the most populous cities in the whole world. With populations comes great congestion. On a super traffic jam day, Traffic can extend for about 183 wow. miles or 295 kilometers. Colors. Brazil in general what? already has one of the highest rates of traffic in the world anyway. The World City Chengdu is the capital of the Sichuan China. province in China. It contains an urban population of over 10 million people, though in the administrative area, the number goes up to over 14 million. This World City also has some awful traffic jams when it comes to rush hour. In 2016, it was reported that it went slightly higher to 5% more traffic. Compared to a city or town with a more average traffic flow, Chengdu has about 47% more congestion. The fact that the province's largest city also has a high resident to car owner ratio probably doesn't help. New South Capital. Atlanta ranks as the most populated city in the state of Georgia. Although compared to the other cities we've talked about, Atlanta, Atlanta. only has a population of a little less than 500,000. But that doesn't mean the traffic situation is so great here. Wow. The total number of hours spent in traffic per year in America totaled out to 70 hours, the fourth longest in comparison to other big cities in the United States. The free and the Hanseatic city of Hamburg. Mm, Hamburg. If you're wondering what in the world Hanseatic means, it just refers to the Hanseatic League made up of merchant guilds and market towns in Central and Northwest Europe, a sort of commercial confederation. Hamburg ranks as the largest city part of the European Union, with a population of 1.8 million people. Now, lots of Hamburg streets are small, the kind of small you'd find in Sorry, European yes, cities. Uncle. Compare that to over a million people, it results in being called one of the most congested cities in all of Europe. Bay Area Traffic You'll find San Francisco in California's northern cool. region, famous for lots of things like the Golden Gate Bridge, Lombardo Street, the Castro, and lots more. San Francisco has a population of nearly 900,000 people, as recorded in 2016. In the United States alone, San Francisco is among the top three cities with the worst traffic. On average, a car driver here will spend about 79 hours more in traffic a year. Bogota, the capital. The capital of Colombia is the city of Bogota, home of La Candelaria at its center. Last year, data shows that the population of Bogota came out to 8.081 million residents. It's come a long way since its founding in 1538, though there's still a traffic problem. Did they have traffic problems back then? Living in Bogota or Bogota, DC, means you probably spend about 102 more hours in traffic than someone living in an average traffic city. Napoli or Naples? Whichever you call the capital of Campania, Italy, what stands is that you spend about 33% more of your time on the road here in traffic. Naples or Napoli is the third largest municipality in Italy after the larger cities of Milan and Rome. The narrow streets get packed with cars during traffic, making it one of the most congested cities in all of Europe. The capital of Europe. When you think of Brussels, oh, you one, think of sprouts, don't deny it, and two, you probably think of all things Belgian. Brussels itself is a region made up of 19 municipalities, including the capital of Belgium known as the city of Brussels, which also gets called the capital of Europe. Over 1 million people call Brussels home. From 2017, there's been a 3 percentage increase in the amount of time spent in traffic, now coming out to 38%. 
driving up to Boston. Boston. Let's take a bit of a breather. Except not really, because there's still lots of traffic in Boston. But compared to other big cities in America, Boston has a slightly, slightly lower traffic count. To drive in Boston, it takes you about 60 more hours in traffic a year. It's not the highest number we've mentioned on this list, but 60 hours in traffic isn't pleasant for anyone. Greater Manchester. The major city of Manchester spans 44.63 square miles or 115.59 square kilometers. With a population of 510,746 people, that's not too much space. Manchester counts as the fourth most densely populated European Union city proper, with 4,678 people per square kilometers. It's said to have the second worst traffic in all of England, which has some calling for improvement of public transportation. The Globalization and World Cities Research Network names Manchester as a beta world city, one of the highest ranked in the country, and is also the third most visited city in the UK, only increasing its road problem. The Old Empire. When you think of Athens, you most likely think of how it sits at the center of ancient Greece, always part of the old story spanning centuries ago. As recorded in 2011, Athens, Greece has a population of about 664,046 people. That's a lot of cars, especially since the average time spent in traffic rose to 35% between 2015 to 2017. Athens Port Piraeus is the second wow. largest in the whole world, and is the largest passenger port in Europe. The city is also home to the largest metropolitan motorway network in the whole country. In London wow. Town That brings us to the most densely populated city in England, and in turn, makes it one of the worst places to drive. London. In the whole world, it ranks top 10 worst cities for traffic jams. There's a big reason that a lot of people in London like to take public transportation. If everyone had a car in London the same way you would in a smaller city, then there would just be no getting anywhere. Even taking the bus helps traffic a little, but thanks to the tube, the rail transportation system, you can get around London relatively easy on foot. America's Capital City This city was founded right after the American Revolution and acts as the seat of government for the United States. Washington, D.C. spans for about 63 square miles or 177 kilometers squared. Couple that with the population of over 6 million people, the streets are gonna get a little bit crowded. Plus, Washington, D.C. is a huge spot for tourists, raking in about 20 million tourists every year. The traffic situation got so bad that last year, the Washington Post even claimed there would be no solution to the road congestion ever. Traffic in Indonesia. Indonesia. The most populous island in Indonesia is Java. And you know what's on Java? Jakarta. The capital of the country, the city of Jakarta. Oh. Over 10 million people call Jakarta home. Number and seven. there's an undeniable <laughs> correlation between population and traffic, so you can only imagine what the roads get like. Rush hour can last about four hours. In a year, the average driver stops and starts their car in traffic about 33,000 times according to The Guardian. City officials have tried to find ways to decrease the road congestion issue. Wow. There used to be a three-in-one carpooling rule as a way to reduce traffic, though people would stand on the side of the roads and get paid to be picked up, so it really didn't amount to anything. Welcome to Miami. People travel to Miami for the weather, the clubs, and the beaches. What they don't ever go there for is the immense traffic. Miami ranks as fifth when it comes to awful traffic conditions in the United States. Getting to that spot because it takes about 64% more of your time on the road here during rush hour. It gets really crowded on the I-95, close to the parking for South Beach and the Palmetto Expressway. In total, locals of this Floridian city stack on 125 more hours a year in traffic. The City Honest. of Brake Lights By 1328, Paris already had a population of 200,000, and the number only got higher from there. In the present day, the City of Lights is now home to 2.2 million residents, the most populous city in France. Like lots of major cities, Paris does provide its inhabitants and visitors access to public transport in the form of the famous Parisian metro. Traffic increased in Paris by 2% in the last year, bringing the time in your car to about 38% more. You'll also find lots of motorcycles here, though it's not clear if that helps along the expressway. Surely you've seen this image of China's checkpoint on the G4 Beijing Hong Kong Macau Expressway. A big reason wow. there's such a mess is that there really isn't any designated lanes, which makes navigating through it a little lanes. more difficult. Beijing is the third most populous city in the world and the most populous of any country's capital. Time on the road increases to 46%. On one given day, you're on the road for an average of about 1.3 hours. For context, however, this photo was taken during a time of festivities, increasing the amount of traffic by a lot. 
change it up. Moscow. Moscow's road conditions got so awful that the city decided to do something about it. The city went ahead and changed their parking policy, which has somewhat helped the traffic situation. However, the traffic time still stood at 44% between 2015 and 2017. Then in 2018, it seems the traffic may have decreased to 26%, though in rush hour, it still stands at 34% for cars in traffic. Rushing to Thailand wow, In recent Thailand. years, Thailand got even more popular as a tourist destination one. as it was before, attracting many young world trotters for its cheap prices. While tourist attractions here certainly get too crowded, other cities do not compare to how congested it gets in Bangkok, on the street and on the road. On average, commuters are set to spend 91% more time going to work in the morning and then 118% more time, as described on World Atlas, in the evening commute. In all of Asia, it's Thailand's capital city that's set to have the highest level of congestion, rising to 61%. Almost to the top! Before we get there, let us know in the comments which of these cities you'd still visit or move to even with its congestion. The City of Angels, the place that has 3.9 million people that live in it, is the City of Angels. Wow. You know where you won't get lonely? On those roads. Los Angeles is famous for being the center of the entertainment industry, certainly in America and perhaps in the world. It's also a really big area, sprawling to 503 square miles or 1,302 square kilometers. LA is ranked as the most congested city in the world. There's definitely a public transportation system here, though LA is notorious for having a not so efficient one. Per year, the average LA resident spends 102% of their time on the road in traffic. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked that video, don't forget to. I don't know how that works. They said that in LA they spend 102% or 10% of their time. How do you go over 100%? Crazy, but uh, wow. So Jakarta made it to number seven, and uh, you had Thailand and a couple of other uh, cities, which is crazy. I don't personally like traffic as well, so I, um, the things that I do, the tricks, I either go before the traffic time or I go after the traffic time, so that way I can beat it, or I, I try to take different routes. And if I do get stuck in traffic, I try to stay calm and not worry about it. If somebody wants to cut in, you just let them in and then keep moving because as soon as you start, for example, um, trying to block people and whatnot, then you get in that mood and then other people too, then, you know, all the aggression comes. So I'm like, okay, just keep calm, keep going. And then, you know, by the time five, 10 minutes passes, you're out of uh, the traffic. So those are my suggestions. If you guys ever uh, have to travel somewhere, uh, wait or do go early or wait until the traffic is done. And if you get do get st stuck in traffic, try to stay calm and, uh, you know, it will, it will pass. So it was pretty interesting, guys. Thank you very much for uh, suggesting it. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like me to uh, react to another video, please put in the comment section uh, below. Uh, Juma Mubarak again, guys. Thank you very much for uh, all your love and uh, support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. What's it?